A march toward democracy is the United States' goal in Afghanistan, but with widespread claims of voting corruption and intimidation, the overall objective is nothing short of challenging. In Afghanistan's second presidential election since 2001, shaping the political landscape there is an evolving process. The elections were sort of seen as an, a test of integrity of the occupation itself, which is supposed to have delivered democracy. If that democracy wasn't working very well, if that democracy was shown to be just a facade, then and the occupation itself is being called into question. The United States is hoping to find support from the Afghan people who are committed to fighting an insurgency. Nationwide polls show that Americans are growing weary of the war in Afghanistan, and reports show that the U.S. is in danger of losing the war politically and militarily. What we're seeing now is a trend toward building up more Afghan army and Afghan police and relying on them to take the handover. Attacks threaten the possibility of gaining stability. Police in the region say recent attacks from pro-Taliban militants ambushed a supply convoy for NATO troops in southern Afghanistan, killing an Afghan guard who was escorting the trucks. A 60-day strategic review of the war is now being sent to the Pentagon and NATO headquarters. A NATO statement released Monday said U.S. General Stanley McChrystal reports the situation is serious, but that success is achievable. McChrystal says success demands a revised strategy, commitment, and resolve. Our strategy is not working in Afghanistan and that we need to, focus, uh, we need to focus on making Afghans feel safer. Um, he says uh, that the war is still winnable and that I completely disagree. This, as latest results show that incumbent President Hamid Karzai has widened his lead, but his main challenger, former Foreign Minister Abdullah Abdullah, is also claiming victory. There will be challenges convincing the Afghan people and the international community that election results are legitimate and those challenges still lie ahead. Questionable election results fueling political unrest with the ongoing war in Afghanistan would mean another battle for the Obama administration here at home. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.